for me, it's about getting young, more young voices into the space. It's about pushing for more senior voices in the space. But it's also about if an issue needs to be amplified, using that voice to be able to amplify. Talking about the situation in Ukraine with black and brown people being racially discriminated against, talking about the lack of representation at the top of football, I will never stop talking about it. I'm Dan Lewis from the Daily Mirror. Marcus Girl, Brentford FC Club Ambassador. Holly Morgan, founder of Morgan Sport Management. Ashton Hewitt, professional rugby player for the Dragons. Anita Asante, current Aston Villa women's player. Danny Mills, uh, Dali Chamber football player. I think we, we can try and we can do things ourselves, how everybody's doing great work in their own way but it has to be met with those who don't experience racism. They have to be a part of that, but also people who are at the very top have to understand that no real change can come if it's not going to start from there. I may have to disagree at times with what you said about the power structure. It's got to be from the top. The people at the top are very few, and they know the majority is down here. But once we all get together and the power is at the bottom, you turn it upside down. It's a different world, a different culture, and I think that's where we can make a huge difference in the sort of information and education that we can put out there. Yeah, I think for me, um, my mission really is, as a player, is just to be obviously visible, always give my best, show that I'm proud to be a black female in football and um, yeah, just hopefully inspire those young girls to mm. see that it's possible fundamentally. Um, and that's from everything, from the way I carry myself to my hair to lots of different things. Like, I think it's important to just be your authentic self at all times and use the platforms in my position as an ambassador for Amnesty and show racism the red card to also facilitate the education part of it um, and, and support and, and be a support system like I always make sure that players know they have my number they have my email my socials they can get in contact with me about anything to do with anything um, I just think it's fund fundamental fundamentally important that those networks are there, like you say, that don't necessarily exist within their workspace or mm. their school or whatever. Um, and just to keep being a voice and working every day to be brave, to, to challenge people, you know, whether it be individually or collectively, to, to try and make that difference. Mm. Yeah, being brave is, 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 I think, one of the things that I've learned over the last year or so. Um, I think the pandemic, pandemic definitely it allowed me to have a lot of reflection on, on this space because I wasn't in it before that, the way I am now. And um, being brave was one of the biggest things that I, I, I said to myself, you know, you, you see these issues, but I wanted to be the change that I wanted to see. And I think uh, you mentioned Show Racing Red Card, I've worked for them for over a year now. And going into schools, and having that conversation and dialogue with, with children and, and teachers. Um, at, at Dunwich Hamlet now, um, sort of heading up the EDI work mm. um, and, and really trying to embed and integrate it not only within that club, but I've had you know, lots of conversations with, with Troy and Kick Out about actually embedding it within non league football because that's the space that, mm. that I know. That's one of the things that I'm trying to do is we spoke about the top of the game, right? We spoke about how change can't come without the top of the game and culture. And um, I've just completed the on the board qualification mm. through the PFA and joined the board of my own secondary school. So trying to have that visibility, um, you know, for, for, for people, come, you know, young people mm -hmm. coming behind. Any, you know, door I can get my foot in, whether it be a board, a school, um, you know, just a workplace where I can speak to the staff, um, absolutely anything um, to make sure that the issue is talked about and is and it's addressed and people start to care and try and get people to care about what people are going through and what people are experiencing and that it really does matter.